Yes, New Jersey Governor Phil Murphy put tough new restrictions in place in his state yesterday and suggested a curfew for non-essential travel. The governor joins us this morning. Governor, good morning. It's good to see you. Good morning, Savannah. Uh, we see what's happened in New York City. We see what's happened in San Francisco, where the mayor has ordered people to stay at home, to shelter in place. Is that kind of dramatic action, a lockdown of sorts, something that you could see happening in your state? Well, we, we frankly have a version of that already. It isn't a curfew. It is a strong recommendation that between each night, the hour of 8 p.m. and 5 a.m. the next day, cut out all non-essential travel in the state of New Jersey. <clears throat> Only essential businesses being allowed to be open. So casinos are shut, movie theaters, gyms, restaurants, bars are takeout only. Our schools effective today are all shut. We've called up the National Guard. We've lowered the amount of people uh, that we're allowing to gather. We're trying to do everything we can to break the back and flatten that curve so we could take pressure off the health care system and, God willing, save lives. Governor, you were on that call yesterday with a number of governors from around the country and President Trump. What did he tell you, governors, about the availability of respirators and ventilators and whether the federal government could be relied upon in case states are not able to meet their individual needs? So we've had an ask in of the federal government. We've had a good back and forth and good relationship with them. Our number one objectives are personal protective equipment for our health care first resp responders, boots on the ground. The good news from that call yesterday, FEMA will help us stand up some drive through testing, which we desperately need. And ultimately, we're going to need a lot of money to put our economy back on its feet. Uh, the White House uh, has generally been accepting of the asks. We've gotten a, a fraction of our uh, personal protective equipment. They said, listen, we'll do our best, but you all are going to have to go out and help source some of this yourself. The problem is this stuff's not lying around. Everybody wants it. Uh, FEMA comes in, by the way, with their own equipment, which is, a, which is an important step, an important point to make. Uh, but we will continue to make those asks of the federal government. Governor Cuomo of New York has said that he believes that the Army Corps of Engineers should come in and start constructing makeshift hospitals now in anticipation that there will be overcapacity soon. Is that something that you echo? Do you think there needs to be hospitals constructed from the ground up? Potentially. Uh, we, we did a lot of our actions, by the way, yesterday, we, as we have over time in concert with New York and Connecticut, and I might add now uh, Pennsylvania. Uh, it's part of the reason, Savannah, we've called up the National Guard, uh, because the National Guard can play a multitude of roles, including in engineering and helping us construct. I think we're probably first going to look at wings of hospitals that have been closed uh, to reopen, and then full hospitals. We don't have many of them, but we've got some of them that are closed that can be reopened, and maybe dormitory settings that be, can be converted yeah. to a quarantine setup. Is okay. the Army Corps a potential uh, down the road? Absolutely. Uh, we're we're going we're gonna to take this in phases. Governor, before I let you go, I just have a few seconds. This issue of testing has just really dogged the response. Do you feel at this moment that the red tape has been lifted, that you're able to test at the capacity you need to? I think what we've said to our people is, by the way, this is no time to panic. <clears throat> it's also no time for business as usual. And that's a mantra that we've been trying to preach. Uh, each day, the testing reality is better. We will have a meaningfully stronger regime by the end of this week. I'm not sure all the red tape has been lifted because you, you have to do this right, both the intake on the front end and the testing on the back end. Uh, but we're getting to a much broader, higher scale reality sooner than later in New Jersey. All right. Mm -hmm. New Jersey's Governor Phil Murphy, thank you for your time this morning, sir, on a busy, busy day.